So the low pass. A low pass is basically the same thing as a high pass, just the opposite direction, where it allows everything below a certain frequency to pass through. The high pass allowed everything above a certain frequency. So the low pass filter is going to get rid of everything above a, a certain frequency and just leave those lower frequencies um, where, where we want to hear them. So like, um, for instance, if you have um, water running, uh, sounds of water running or things like that that might create a higher higher pitch frequency uh, these frequencies can definitely be blocked out using the low pass uh, filter set a frequency of say our EVPs are somewhere between you know uh, 20 and 100 Hertz we may set it at 150 and tell it to block out everything above there so we can just concentrate on those lower frequencies so we'll go over that one right now and do a quick demo Okay, let's jump into our low pass filter and we're going to open up our EVP file here. And again, this is a short clip, about five seconds or so, that we've already clipped out of our main audio from the evening. Uh, this one is from the Cedar Ridge Cemetery. Um, so I'm going to do my uh, usual that I've shown you in the previous two uh, videos where I split the track, get rid of my right channel, flip this over to mono, and increase the size of it to fill up my entire screen. This way we can see the maximum amount of audio wave. So here we're going to play this uh, and give it a listen and see if you hear any type of EVP in it. And again, th this one, Cedar Ridge Cemetery, I was just basically walking around asking questions if there was anybody here that would like to communicate. And I picked up this sound uh, and this interesting um, phenomenon I had talked about before, which is an audio pop. Sounds kind of like a static pop that can either precede or follow a uh, EVP. Um, so again, I will play it one more time here and give it a listen. Uh, just give you a hint, we're looking uh, somewhere in this area now. You can see the waveform gets a little bit bigger. So you can hear in this case there's something very faint there. But, we, but what we have and what you can hear a lot of uh, in the rest of the audio is there was a stream nearby and we had a lot of crickets in the cemetery uh, all of which are emitting uh, all kinds of different frequencies that could be interfering with being able to hear or clarify this EVP properly. So in this lesson we're going over the low pass filter which allows everything below a certain point to pass. It gets rid of everything above a certain point. So it's exactly the opposite of the high pass. So in this case, we have high pitch noise from the stream running. We have high pitch noise from the crickets. And we want to try and get rid of some of that so we can try and hear this EVP, clarify this EVP that's buried underneath all that noise. So what I'm going to do is we know our general area where we're looking here. So we're going to flip over to our spectrogram again. And as you look through, you can see there's a lot of blue space where there's nothing. And then if you look down here, you can see this slight pattern of, of red up and down, up and down, up and down. There's, there's, there's definitely a you know, pattern that you can see. Um, this is some of the high pitch frequencies. They're not very loud, but this is probably the stream and the crickets up in this area where we can hear it. It's somewhere up in the you know, 4,500 4, to 5,000 hertz range. Here you can see this tall spike. This is our audio pop, which starts down here very low uh, and is very loud on the microphone, but again, it's in the lower frequencies. And then here, where we were looking in the middle, you can see you know, there, there's these two areas that could be uh, something like an EVP because one, it's not very dense, doesn't have that echoey pattern to it, it's not, not heavy, heavy white. And again, 
uh, please don't start using this as a way or a tool to find EVPs. Don't start bringing in your audio, converting it to spectrogram view, and start looking for little yellow anomalies like this because these are not always EVPs. You will find if you do this on most audio files, there are all kinds of little noises that are not EVPs that show up basically this way in all different frequency ranges. Um, so this is after having listened, narrowed down the fact that you think you have an EVP, you know the general area, and this is where we're looking. So one more time I'm going to play it here and you can watch about where the sound is and see that it aligns with this. We obviously have something here too if you listen very carefully. It's so faint, that's something we can't even amplify or work with. It happens so short and so faint that um, it shows up on the chart, but you'll never be able to get anything out of it. So we're going to focus on this one that we might be able to do something with. So again, low pass. We want to get rid of this cricket noise, stream noise. So we're going to look about where this EVP is. And if we look across our, our chart here, we see it's somewhere between uh, 1,000 hertz and, and 1,500 hertz. Yeah, probably about the you know 1250, 1300 range. And again, uh, you know we say typically an EVP shows up or is typically between 10 and 60 hertz. Um, a lot of testing has been done, a lot of analysis. I've done quite a few on, on my audio, um, and typically what you'll find is that while this may be about a 60, you know hertz to 100 hertz. Uh, audio, it doesn't always appear in the 100, I mean the uh, 10 to 60 range. Uh, sometimes the EVPs will occur in higher frequencies. Uh, not exactly sure why, um, you know, there's all different theories behind it, uh, but you can find your little 10 to 60 hertz wave in a different frequency band. Um, so this is the area we're looking. So we're going to go up here based on what we just saw and we're going to go into our low pass filter. Uh, so we have our high pass and then our low pass. Again, this is going to allow everything below a certain point to pass. So we're guessing, you know, probably somewhere around 1250 we'll put in, start with. Again, you can play with it. You want to make sure that you don't get rid of your noise. We can even go up to about 1500 to be safe because it kind of tapers it off a little bit. What we're really concerned about is getting rid of this area up top here where the cricket noise and stream noise is. Uh, we can start with six decibels because most everything here is so faint. Uh, play with it if you need to go up higher, but six should do it. And you'll see it got rid of a lot of it. There's still a few waves here, so we could have probably gone a little bit higher. Uh, so we can always go up here and do the undo. Go back into our low pass filter, and this time we'll boost it up to 12 and try again. And you can see a little bit more of it is gone. But at this point, if you're looking, it did slightly affect this, so you'll have to play and, and, and see. You don't want to get rid of your EVP. So here we'll play it again, and again we're looking in this area. So our high pitch frequencies are gone, and you can hear that you know this is still there, but it's kind of faint. So this is where the combination of filters come in handy. So now we're going to flip back to our wave view, and while we might have gotten rid of some of those cricket noises and things, uh, this is still very faint, very hard to hear. So we know what's happening about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this area. You know, I just take a chunk a little further out, uh, you know, just to make sure we have a little preceding and, and post noise. And we're going to go up and use our amplify on top of using the low pass. Again, it's going to figure out what our maximum amplification is. We can go less or more because you have to remember this is so faint, if it amplifies it so much and there's still noise in the background, it's going to be so loud that you're not going to hear it. So first we'll try it as loud as it goes. We'll let it go to the full 24.7 and maximize it. And now we're going to play from the beginning again. So again, we have a lot of background noise. You can hear all the background noise got very loud, but still in the middle of there we have something. So let me just highlight this area so we can hear just what's in there. So hopefully you hear something in the middle of that. Uh, I'm not sure what you make of it. Um, 
some people have said kind of sounds like it's saying hello or help. I've listened to it. I kind of think it sounds like uh, 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 hello-ish kind of sound. Again, very hard to make out on a faint EVP like this. Um, definitely not considered a Class A or a Class B. Um, I would definitely put this in the Class C area. Um, but it does help you that you can put both, as we've always said, your original and this modified version out there for people to hear and let them make of it what they will. So that's our uh, low-pass filter. And again, you can save this uh, version out, same way as we show you in every one. Go to the export, uh, preface it with low-pass or whatever terminology you want to use, and this way you have your original and your modified version.